Weeks before being sworn into office, Rhode Island's governor-elect is already hard at work. Today, she announced an initiative, new program aimed at giving families a head start in saving for college. Eyewitness News reporter Sean Daly joins us now live from the State House with the Providence Mobile Newsroom. Yes, we're here at the State House where Governor Lincoln Chafee is in his final days in office. But Governor-elect Gina Raimondo already is taking charge. <laughs> Generally, this would be a picture a politician would orchestrate during a campaign. But this time, a politician who already has won the election, Governor-elect Gina Raimondo, is holding baby Alice for an altogether different reason. Alice symbolizes the governor-elect's effort to make sure every child born in Rhode Island has a chance to go to college. Newborn mothers will be able to check a box on a form in the hospital that would trigger a $100 donation to a bank account set up for a college education fund for all the Alice's throughout Rhode Island. The initial $100 will come from a foundation. Additional money would come from family and friends of the babies. We live in a world where high wage jobs go to people with high skills. And if you don't have the skills, you're being left behind. And nobody deserves to be left behind. Everybody deserves a chance. The larger message today is that Governor-elect Raimondo already is taking action. She's fired up for her new job, and she has ideas galore to fix Rhode Island. So, thank but you, her Ray. overall thank strategy is not to chase an elusive silver bullet. The steady drumbeat of action, which is what you're seeing today, a concrete proposal to increase the skill level of people and to make college affordable, a steady drumbeat of these actions will, over time, get Rhode Island on the path to recovery. Focusing on higher education is just the start for Governor-elect Romano. She has big plans. We'll focus more on what's in store, new at six. Live at the State House with the Providence Mobile Newsroom, Sean Daly, Eyewitness News. Incoming Governor Gina Raimondo is already hard at work, even though she won't officially be sworn in for a few more weeks. Well, today she outlined her plan to ensure children born in Rhode Island have savings for college. This is just one of many plans she has for the state over the next several years. Eyewitness News reporter Sean Daly is live outside the Providence, uh, the Rhode Island State House in Providence with the details. When Governor-elect Gina Raimondo takes the oath of office next month, she will have already set in motion one of her ideas. But they will all fall under the umbrella, and there will be many more to come under the umbrella of no silver bullets and no shortcuts. Governor-elect Gina Raimondo isn't in office yet, but she was a blur of motion today at the Community College of Rhode Island in Warwick. She went to CCRI to reveal an ambitious plan to help students pay for higher education in Rhode Island. I said I would take action, and this is the first action I'm taking. I'm not even in the seat yet. This is what we need. But soon enough, it was clear that what really floats the governor-elect's boat isn't merely one plan. It's all of her plans. We have to rebuild our infrastructure. We have to rebuild our workforce. We have to have taxes that are competitive. We have to hit on all cylinders, and then we will succeed. And no today's the of that. No shortcuts, no silver bullets, no missed opportunities, hustling day in and day out, and over time we'll see results. Governor-elect Raimondo is a believer in the mantra that slow and steady wins the race. A steady drumbeat of action, which is what you're seeing today, a concrete proposal to increase the skill level of people and to make college affordable, a steady drumbeat of these actions will, over time, get Rhode Island on the path to recovery. A new governor with new ideas that may, just may, help the ocean state, which ironically seems lost at sea, get back on course. Live at the State House with the Providence Mobile Newsroom, Sean Daly, Eyewitness News.